hit it. Good day, YouTube. Robert J. Morris here, and I have another update regarding Thomas David House of Deegan from his March 17, 2016 trial. I have here some clips. I'll play some highlights. It's where he is cross-examining State Trooper First Class K.M. Williams, and it's uh, pretty lengthy, so I will just kind of buzz through some of the highlights of the clips and provide for you, as always, links to the videos in the description box below. Anyway, I'll leave you with that, folks, and have a great day. Peace. All right. Um, on any of those calls, did I ever proclaim myself to be a sovereign citizen? Objection, Your Honor, not relevant. Oh, you can answer. I, I can't recall if you have or not. Okay. Alright, that's all in the jail calls. Um, do you have a copy of uh, the complaint that you swore to? Not sitting here with me, no, sir. The only thing I have is this transcript you provided me. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. Is, is that the, um, the complaint portion that you swore to? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> and in there, um, you said that I proclaim myself to be a sovereign citizen. What, do you, what information do you base that upon? based off of my past dealings with people that are anti-government um, normally claim themselves to be sovereign citizens. Okay, so have you had any past dealings with me? I have not. Okay, and um, do you have evidence that I'm anti-government? Your continued responses to how things are dealt with um, and your refusal of the current governmental process What's that based upon? That analysis. Your continued um, filings with the, the writs for habeas corpus and your um, continued. Uh, Let's give you accounts of, or, or as we heard yesterday. Um. So, utilizing the judiciary system is anti government? No, when it comes to filing multiple pieces of paper saying that you do not recognize or that you've I'm not sure what the wording you used when you disassociate yourself with governmental process. And and wh where are those um, those uh, the evidence that I've disassociated myself with governmental process? You said it yesterday multiple times in your YouTube video um, that you. Repatriated, I think, is the verbiage that you use. Uh, 
it would be expatriated. Okay, expatriated yourself. So you expatriated yourself from the current governmental process and you do not recognize our governmental dealings. Is that is how I um, at, at the point of, I mean, we're, we're talking about this, this um, sworn complaint. I mean, we've, we've went past the complaint and we've went somewhere else, so I'm not sure where, where what your question is in, in regards to what. Okay, the, the evidence that I proclaim myself to be a sovereign citizen. W would you read that off there? It's, it's your statement, your sworn statement. Um, and there was somewhere in there where you said, I proclaim myself to be a sovereign citizen. Most likely it would be at the very beginning because I started the talk and went down. Which, which part? So self proclaimed, I think you may have put it as. I'm sorry, you have my only copy, so I don't have a copy. Uh, I'm asking you what, what part you would like me to read. Um, the, the part where you said self proclaimed. How far back would you like me to read? That sentence. <coughs> Your Honor, can I show this to him? I'm not sure where he wants me to read. It's a, it's, it's a rather <coughs> large sentence. Do you want me to approach him? I'm sorry, I, I only have one copy. Okay, it'll be this one right here. Where do you want me to start? Um, you, you, yeah, yeah, you can start right there. That's fine. That word involving forward slash led by Thomas Deegan, comma, a self-proclaimed sovereign citizen. Okay, so at that time you made that sworn statement, what evidence did you have of that? As of that date, I listened to the conference call. I listened to several YouTube videos. Well, specifically for that statement, that's a sworn statement and complaint to a magistrate court. And so there's got to be a factual basis behind that statement. Where did you get those facts from? Objection, Your Honor, ask and answer. Well, if he's already answered the question, he can answer it the same way. But that is a little bit of a different question. So if you can answer it, can you have him repeat his question, please, Your Honor? Um, I'm not sure exactly how I phrase that one. The, the facts to sustain that sworn statement that I'm self proclaimed. So, um, where did I proclaim myself to be a sovereign citizen? No, that was fine. That was fine. Now, in there, you said that um, I said that the control of West Virginia government would be assumed by members of the sovereign citizen movement. Can you identify the evidence you had at that time to support that statement? That's what it states in the transcript is that you all will put your own people in office. Well, I'm, I'm going by your exact words. So if you can find your exact words from that complaint in there, please go ahead. Please. Absolutely. You want me to find that verbiage inside that? Is that what you're asking me to do? That, that's what you swore to, correct? What's on that complaint? Do, do you know the line I'm speaking of? Yes. Okay. Following the removal of these officials, control of the West Virginia government will be assumed by the members of the sovereign citizen movement. Okay. So can, can you find that verbiage in there? Is, is that the facts? Is that where you base that statement upon, that, that transcript, or the call? Yes. 
Okay, can, can you find that in there? But or that is not the exact, the exact language that's in the complaint. But 